We have a dragon to catch. In the last episode, we found out that Zelda swallowed a secret stone and became an immortal dragon and has entered the game. She also has the Master Sword and it should be fixed because she's had it for a very long time. The problem is, where's she gone? And, you know, the other, the, the other you know, minor issue with this is uh, I can't believe it's going to be as easy as just landing on her back. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to do some storyline stuff and talk to people about it, but uh, I can't even see her now. I literally just paused the game for a minute while I uh, went and got coffee between episodes and she's gone. She was flying around here, but she seems to have vanished. There is a big old cloud in the way, which is not ideal, but she should... Ah, there she is. So maybe we can just get on her back. I've equipped my glide suit to make life a little bit easier for us. But do we land on her back? Do we land on her head? What do we do? Hello, Zelda. There's something shining on her head. It's, is that the Master Sword? Are we really about to land on Zelda's head? And get the Master Sword? <laughs> Have we got the Master Sword? Oh, it's not going to be as easy as that. She doesn't like us taking that. Okay, it's going to be a couple of a couple of goes to get this, I guess. No, I don't want to go. St I guess I need I need to be a bit more prepared this time. Spam A. Nope. Do we need to do something? Do I have to grab and hold? But I uh, grab hold, yes. I didn't see the hold. We've got three stamina rings, so it really shouldn't be a problem. Can't get any more stamina than this. I guess we could eat some stamina food to help, but I don't think we're going to need to. As if we're just going to get the Master Sword. This is incredible. I didn't expect to be getting that at all, actually, at first in this game with how the story went. But then I thought, oh, maybe if she was back in time and she had it, she could fix it. I thought it would be hidden in the secret forest again, but I guess not. Is she going to turn back into Zelda and fall out of the sky? Do I still have to keep holding A? Because I am. <laughs> I'm going to let go of A now. Link. That was me, not really Zelda. It's fixed. Demon King. He defeated her before, but a long 
slumber will heal these grievous wounds. And when you two next face the Demon King, you will have my strength to help you through her. Link, you are our final hope. I pray. This sword reaches you in the future. There we go. Can we not turn Zelda back into uh, Zelda? Is she always going to be an immortal dragon? I guess that's maybe a good thing, but it's kind of sad at the same time. Who master sword, the legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its corruption was healed by its time with the light dragon. The blade gleams with the sacred luster that can oppose the demon king. Nice. We haven't even done the fourth uh, regional phenomena yet. And we're at the Temple of Time again. Huh. So the Master Sword, the great thing about the Master Sword is it doesn't have any durability damage. Whilst it's not the strongest sword in the game, it is very, very good. Can't believe we got the Master Sword back, guys. I believe it will also like shoot out blades as well if you do it right. Or at least it did in Breath of the Wild. Nice. Do we need to be here at the Temple of Time? I mean, she dropped us off here. Should we go in and see if Raru's kicking about? I don't think we do need to be here. I think I need to go and find uh, Impa. Uh, I know where she was when we were in the last episode. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're not doing this then. Yeah, I know where she was, but will she still be there? That's the question. So she was over here. Uh... Oh, no, she wasn't. She was over here. But I don't think she'll be there anymore. I think she will have moved. Hopefully, she's gone back to Lookout Landing because I really need to share all of my information with everybody and show off my shiny Master Sword. Oh, it's so exciting. I can't believe I've been playing this game for over 70 hours and I'm still ridiculously excited. When your hearts are full, you can fire a beam from the sword with R. There you go. The more heart containers you have, the further the beams range. So we just need to spam heart containers now. Yep, streams and shrines. Oh, man. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought Pure uh, Impa might be here. Pure, guess what? Oh, welcome back. I've been hearing a lot about your adventures. The major cold front and the descended upon the Rido and the sludge contaminated in Zora water supply. Meanwhile, the Gerudo were menaced by attacking Gibdo and contending with the ominous sand shroud. All of these things connect to Princess Zelda somehow. Must have been an exceptionally challenging, Link, but your efforts enormously has returned. Entrusting those areas to you was the right decision after all. It's become clear as day that there's a connection between Princess Zelda and the upheaval. Things are much more serious tonight. Yeah, all right, okay. So there's, uh... Yeah. You're not going to say anything else. What about the depths? What about Joshua? Because we've been in the depths loads. We've done loads of depth stuff. Are you going to tell me anything? Uh -huh. Welcome back. You look like you're in a good mood. Did you discover something? Uh, yeah, like everything, oh. mate. You defeated Koga? Oh, well, of course you did. You're the swordsman. Did you Did you have any clues about Princess Zelda? Yeah, mate. She's a dragon and stuff. Oh, nothing. Oh. Well, even so, there's one less danger for the princess. I'm not even surprised you did all this. You're the swordsman. It'll be hard to work here with my research into the depths, so just come and let me know if you find anything out. Okay, we will do. Uh, have I got any pose? I think I uh, sold on my pose. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, man. I'm just so excited. Right, next stop. We need to go up to... Down to uh, the old lab over here. We need to go and see um, our mate. 
uh, what say whatever his name is. Oh, jeez, got Robbie. Robbie, and go get our last travel medallion because we've now unlocked all of the towers, so we can do that. So we'll have a third travel medallion, which will be amazing. That'd be nice. And then I guess it's onwards and upwards to the uh, to the last village. Now there's another dragon there. That's not Zelda. That's a different one. But I do want to go and get all the scales from those guys because, well, it's very useful to be able to do that. Now, have we got a tower anywhere near here that I could go up? There's that one there. I wonder if we can go land on that back of that dragon quickly and, uh, and go and get one of its scales. Because there was, early on in the Let's Play, I came across a statue um, that wanted a dragon scale, but I can't remember which dragon it wanted it. And I've got one. I think actually it wanted a dragon's claw, so that might be a different task altogether. But there we go, the dragon's right below us. It'd be pretty easy to get to. We'll just go straight down. We're already wearing our wingsuit. Try and avoid hitting those rocks on the way down. And now this one's going to be cold. I believe this is an ice dragon, so we're going to start freezing when we land on its back. So I probably have to equip my warm... Yeah, there we go. We're already uh, getting rather chilly. There we go. Should warm it up. I believe we just need a, a weapon that's capable of breaking some of these things on its back. So I should have a rock hammer. That might, that might do it. There we go. A Nadra's scale. And I, like I said, I don't know if this was the right dragon. We got that now. Perfect. Let's go and see Robbie. I think it was Nadra that it actually wanted. Yeah, because it was in the mountainous area. It was actually not far from here at all. Where I found that statue. I just can't remember exactly where. It may be on the map. But I think it was I think I found it while I was trying to go up to that mountain originally. But I'm sure it said Nadra's Claw rather than Nadra's Scale, and I'm not sure how you would get the claw. I guess you could maybe land on its feet, but it moves its feet around a lot. I think that would be very tricky. <laughs> anyway. Dragons and stuffs and mate. Hello, Robbie. We have more work to do on your power pad. Now it's time. It's near full capacity. Yep, I need that one, mate. What? You, you've got the data? Hurry up, let me see the power pad. Got the data, bro. Give me a moment. There we go. Third travel medallion. I got it, mate. Unbelievable. With that, I fully upgraded the travel medallion feature. Consider it a great honor rewarded to the mo for your most extensive travels. I did it, bro. I got it. Just for you, Robbie. Complete it. At last, your power pad is perfect. And that means you're perfect. And this, that is objective truth, I'm very pleased to say. Because with all of that, you'll make infinitely better progress in your search for Princess Zelda. Now, when you find Princess Zelda, be sure to tell her you couldn't have done it without the power pad improvement. I found her, mate. She's a dragon. I rode on her back and everything. It was amazing. Probably one of the best things I've done all day, actually. It's coming very close. It, it must... I wonder if it is possible to get one of its claws. Let me go see if I can find that statue. I, it must have put it on the map somewhere. I think... I'm pretty sure it was around the bottom of this mountain somewhere. Was it on this side? Hmm... I might have to watch that other video. See if I can remember where it was. Can't remember which video it was now, though. <laughs> There's been a lot of videos. Yeah, it's definitely not in the village. It was definitely towards the mountains. Hmm. In fact, thinking about it, it's probably here, the Spring of Wisdom. So if we just favel, fast travel back to there. Favel? Yeah, just favel over, over there. We'll go have a word with the old statue and see if it was the dragon's claw or the dragon's scale that she wanted. If you haven't seen a shooting star nearby while skydiving, you'll be able to catch it if you get close enough. I know I missed one in the last episode. I was pretty gutted, really. Not to worry. 
So, uh, Fountain of Wisdom should be on the other side. Just down there. And there she is, yeah. There's the statue. Hey, statue! How are you doing, mate? Can I, uh, can I speak to you? Seek the blue spirit, Nadra, which we just did, who chills, chills the air around her as she dances across the heavens when you've gained Nadra's claw. Speak of the sharp claw shrouded in cold, the tips of the blue spirit's limbs. One who approaches too closely puts themselves at great risk. Shoot from afar and a fragment should fall safely to earth. Oh, jeez. It was the claw. Oh, man. I don't need the claw. So we need to shoot the dragon in the leg, basically. But that dragon's probably now gone down a chasm. Because they go, they basically do a big loop around the world. Oh, it hasn't yet. It's still over there, so there's still time. There's still time, guys. Right, I want to go in that case. Lazily back up to here. <laughs> we'll fly back over to it and we'll see if we can shoot its claw from the air. It might be too far away for us to get to now. But we'll see. We, we can go an awful long way in the sky. But we need to get to it before it falls down a chasm. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. Go, Link. Don't wait. Just go. Right, where did it go? Where's that dragon? Which way is the dragon? It would be very helpful for us to see it. There it is. Oh, it's gone, it's gone a bit of a distance. I reckon we can get to it. Skydiving stuff on. Seems that like we're not too close to the dragon yet. That'll help. And then when we get nearby, we'll get our cold stuff. Actually, we shouldn't need to, because if we're shooting it from afar, then we should be able to hopefully... Oh, no. Apparently it's cold, really cold here anyway. Just need to get one of his feet. If we're getting close, and if I put my cold stuff back on... Oh no, the temperature's gone up. We're all right. Which foot's gonna? The the one in the ones in the middle seem to move a lot less. But which feet do we need to get? If we was to land on a back, would it be easier? I think it would. But now it's going to be really, really cold. So which one of the sages is this dragon then? Because I reckon they must have all swallowed one of those secret stones. I can't get your toenails from there, mate. Oh no, I'm slipping off. No, no, no. No, Link. Oh, okay, fine. Nope, not that. That's not letting me shoot any of its toenails. Okay, what about these ones in front? Nope. Just wasting arrows at this point. Is there a particular one we need to shoot? Oh, I can get back on its back. Nice. It definitely said shoot its... No, I'll tell you what. This might seem silly. But the, the, the problem was the arrows were going right through. When it brings this leg back up. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to get it. Hmm. Yeah, just go straight through. Oh, how are we supposed to do it? Don't make sense. Out of Nadra Spike. They could be useful. There's a bunch of those. No, oh, thank you, Tulin. Get me one of its claws.
hit your leg out again. But see, those ones are too fast. I'm just wasting arrows. Doing nothing. I mean, even shooting the dragon's doing nothing. Well, how am I supposed to do it? Maybe I have to shoot one of its shards at its claw, but then if it's going straight through, I don't see how even that would work. Seeing if there's anything at the back that could be useful to us. Maybe there was a, like a claw sticking out of it somewhere, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I just saw a video on Breath of the Wild about how to farm Nadra's claws. And the guy was standing on like a hill and he fired something. I didn't really see what it was that he fired, but he, he fired it at the dragon and its claw came off. So I can only assume the same thing would happen in this one. But he, he sort of hit the leg a bit higher up. So he did. it was something very shiny that he shot. And maybe that's what we need. But I feel like, like if we were on that cliffside there, we could probably get down, we could probably shoot it quite well from there. But surely being above it's got to be better. Or at least, you know, alongside it's going to be an advantage. So let me just... I don't want to bomb. What have we got that would be strong? I was thinking like a, a, high, a Hinox tooth or something. Oh, what, what are they called? Fingernail. Toenail. No, not an electric key sideball. Just bounces off. Maybe a shock thing. I just went straight through. I mean, you couldn't get closer. Nothing. Okay, right, I'm going to get back on its back. I'm going to watch that video again and see what it was he was firing. And I've just watched two more videos, and it doesn't matter on Breath of the Wild, because there's, there's no, you know, different types of arrows in Breath of the Wild. Well, there are, but there's no, like, special things you can put in the arrows. But the other one was from Tears of the King, who said, just shoot it in the foot. <laughs> just shoot it in the foot. I'm trying to shoot it in the foot, guys. It don't work. This The other guy was literally doing what I'm doing now. And he shot it in the foot. And it sparkled. And the, the fingernail fell off. And my bro broke. Ah, no, no, Link. No, no, no. I just want you to get a different bow, buddy. I don't understand. Am I shooting it in the wrong foot? I'm seriously running out of arrows here. <sighs> and I've run out of uh, stamina, so I'm going to die. <laughs> hmm. I don't get it. I don't get it. I did everything it told me to do. Okay, I'm getting back towards it again, but we've got a bit of a problem now because it's heading down towards that uh, the underground canyon and we do not want it to be going down there when we do this, otherwise we're going to lose the claw. So uh, I'm going to get over to it as quickly as I can. But he was shooting it in the back leg, so I don't know if that makes any difference. That's what he was doing. Oh, you're not going down that chasm. Okay, well that's good then. But yeah, he shot he shot it in the back leg around about the ankle point, this one here. So he was basically shooting there. Oh, 
missed. We're too far away. Oh, that one hit. Well, it seemed to hit, but it went straight through. It's doing nothing. I don't understand. I really don't understand. Is this the wrong dragon? I don't believe it's the wrong dragon. I'm very cold on it. It's the one in the right area. But I just don't understand. I don't know what else I could do. get any closer. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Unless it's already fallen off. But I didn't see it anywhere. Huh. Well, that sucks. That really sucks. Okay, I just managed to hit it in the leg with a bomb. And the bomb actually exploded. But I'm not seeing... Oh, is that a toenail? No, I'm not seeing any toenails coming off. Or any claws. So it's supposed to fall off out of the sky once you hit it. But it ain't. <laughs> it ain't working. Let's try this one over here. I love the fact that it keeps, like, firing his back up in the air. That's really handy. Nothing. Oh. But yeah, the bat, the, it just went straight through again. I wonder if we used a, a Zonai bow with a, some sort of Zonai div vice attached to it. I don't know what. A time bomb? Just go straight through. <laughs> Nothing. You'd think that, like, the claw would be highlighted. You'd think there'd be a special claw. That one looks a bit, sort of, gross. Straight through. Nothing. using all my bows and all my arrows <laughs> and all my bombs <laughs> we'll go down to the ground and the ground's going to be actually scattered with these things <laughs> I've probably like knocked it off already that's probably what's happened oh it's gone blue does that mean I can get it now Ah, there we go. So I just had to wait for it to be shiny. Really? There we go, that's it. I got it. No, that's a bit of scale. I already got scale. Well, I don't think I can keep going with this because I'm going to run out of stuff. So we've got Nadra's Spike and somewhere in here we've got Nadra's Scale, wherever that is in the list. Unless it's in one of the uh, like special things. 
No, it doesn't appear to be. Nedra scale, yeah, two. It definitely said claw. Oh, man. Oh, man. We've kind of come a long way on that dragon. <laughs> We've ridden around the world. So I know if I hit it a bunch of times, I can get it to glow. But I still can't shoot it in the foot. Unless once it's glowing, its feet suddenly are hittable. It just doesn't make any sense. But I, I can't afford to keep going through all of my arrows. I'm just going to have a word with the uh, the old lady down at the lake. And just see if she'll accept a scale. <laughs> I got a couple of scales, mate. It's closed. One who approaches closely puts himself at great risk. Shoot from afar, and a fragment should fall safely to the earth. The spirit who takes form of a great blue dragon, long in shape. If you search the skies, you may spot Nadra near this very string. I mean, I couldn't do any more than I did. I literally couldn't do any more than I did. I guess next time if I attack it enough, maybe something would happen. What's that? Oh, that's a, no, I don't want that. That's a like-like. Don't want, <laughs> don't want to go near that. So I don't know. I really don't know. That doesn't help us out at all. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, we need to start making our way up to the, um, where is it? Regional ph phenomena. Up here, into the Elden region. But I, I, need to, I also need to, re I really need to go shopping. So I might do a little bit of shopping off camera. <laughs> See if I can buy myself some, uh, some more arrows. And I'll be back with you guys in the next one. Goodbye.